You know, these uh, clinics in Mexico are very difficult. We, it takes a lot of logistics to put this together. Many other companies and clubs, rotary clubs, have supported this both in financial and resources of people. It's not just about coming here and, and, a, and a project now, it's about returning sight to the people. We need everybody. Rotarians, our Lions, is Bosch, is pretty much everybody that wants to get involved. Bosch International is a nonprofit organization which provides free quality eye care to people in need and people who do not have access to that eye care. Not only Texas Bosch, but we have Bosch from Illinois, we've got people from California, from South Carolina, from New York. Bosch has a student Bosch program in every school of optometry in the United States and Canada. These are young people who commit their free time, their vacations, to come on a Bosch trip to provide free quality eye care. Okay. Pero no ve mis, mis dedos aquí, puede ver algo de mis dedos. Okay. It's really exciting just to be somewhere totally different and being able to serve people who don't necessarily have the same access. It's really great to serve a different kind of population. In this particular area, we're setting them up to have all the various examinations that they need to have before they see the optometrist. I am an optometrist, um, so I'll be doing eye exams, and this is my fifth Bosch mission. The number of people that you meet culturally and um, just the places you get to, to go and, and that you wouldn't have the opportunity to go is, is amazing. Sometimes when we walk in and there's 200 people standing there and they start clapping, I mean, none of my patients are ever going to clap when I, <laughs> when I walk in the room, so it's a, it is a really great feeling. What's in the exam room we're going to be heading them towards? Uh, my name is Chris Warford. I'm an optometrist from Baytown, Texas. I'm part of the Rotary Club of Baytown. Yeah, so they're going to line up here and then they're going to come. And the Rotary Club of Sweeney came to our uh, Rotary Club and decided to uh, kind of pitch that they needed people to help. It just felt like the perfect thing to do. But sometimes they come in a big group. And, uh... Hi, my name is Robert Yudkin. I'm with the Addison Rotary Club. I've been with the clinic now since 2006. My role is an administrator. I handle logistics, problem solving, anything but medical. What you're looking at here is the front of our clinic. It was renovated in 2011. So when we first came here, we started on the, the original building that the Mexicans had put up and then we finished out the interior. And that was almost 20 years ago. Now we're on our third building. This clinic has grown so much, and word of it has gotten out. We've had patients from Mexico City come all the way here. We have people from all over the states in Mexico. It's not just the state of Chihuahua. People from Zacatecas, from Torreón, from different states, and even from Bolivia. We have problems of vision, all of us that are here. That's what we're doing. Lo que estamos haciendo aquí es si nos puedes mejorar el, el defecto físico de la visión que tenemos. Giving back to the community here, so it just grounds you so much. I mean, you just you just walk away feeling overwhelmed with the joy that you get for really helping people. Obviously, at home you do that and it's wonderful, but here the appreciation that the people give you is, is just phenomenal, and uh, it really does ground you and just makes you appreciate really what you have. It's a big clinic that helps anybody that is that anybody in needs. And what what is our requirement? It's pretty much that the people that come here is blind. Vamos, con mi hijo vamos. Le pasó un accidente y le cayó una catarata y esperemos en Dios de que todo salga bien y estamos en buenas manos y en fe. Todo. If in this situation we find anyone who has cataracts in both eyes, we'll take them immediately to another line and then we'll get them into the OR so that they can have their cataract surgery done. My name is Dr. Ahmed Solomon. I'm here from Dallas from UT Southwestern. I'm an eye doctor or an eye surgeon. We just saw Josefina, which was our first patient of the day here at the clinic. 
She has very dense cataracts in both eyes, which means she can tell that we're shining a flashlight in front of her eyes if we hold it right up in front of her face, but other than that, she can't really see. One of the things that's really interesting is the type of cataract that we see here. It's uh, pretty dense. We were like warned that these cataracts were very hard and they feel like rocks. And for sure, they were not kidding. That was a very hard case. People wait um, too long to get the cataract surgery for various reasons, and it makes it a little bit more challenging um, uh, to do the surgery. We are here in the area of the pre-op. That means we are preparing the patients um, yeah, for their upcoming operation. And now we're waiting for the surgeon to tell us that he's going to start. Catarata, ojo izquierdo. De aquí, pues mis alumnos, los que tengo aquí, son estudiantes de octavo semestre de medicina. Se operan aproximadamente unos promedio de 25 pacientes al día. Como ahorita mi primer paciente, una catarata traumática, que estuvo un poquito difícil. No vengamos a aprender o a practicar, sino a, para que las cirugías salgan bien. My name is Beth Ruiz and I'm a PA actually and I work as sort of a surgical tech assistant to the ophthalmologist in the OR and I've been doing this since 2008. It's helped me quite a bit, first of all, just to see, you know, what's out there outside of our borders and to know that you're really helping someone and definitely you see it in the patient's faces and they're very appreciative and um, it's, uh, it's a good feeling. It takes a lot of logistics to put this together. First, we need uh, supplies, and we've got Alcon being the number one donor that give more than anybody else. They've supported us for years and years, and we just couldn't make this clinic happen without them. A phenomenal company they, they are. Today we're in the Mennonite community, a remote site from our clinic in uh, Goretto. We've had about 180 people sign up today for a, an eye exam of some kind of eye problem they heard about through the Mennonite leadership. And so therefore we're uh, doing eye exams here and you can see all of the people that are waiting for their eye exams to see what we're going to be able to do. Can you see that very last one? From there we go in and we do a kind of a preliminary exam. and acuities and uh, just a minor refraction with an auto refractor and then we go for in another room for a full-fledged exam giving them a prescription or letting them know that they're doing okay. It could be the nerve problem, it could be the muscle. Uh, I was looking at eyes, you get the black part, it goes to the other eyes, it goes in and out, but it's stuck. Well, it's really difficult here with uh, the low German and uh, Spanish. Asking in and German, how many speak Spanish? So therefore we have a big language barrier. So we use a lot of sign language. We point, we turn, we twist. We do whatever it takes to try to get the patient to do what we need them to do. We are here as a group here at the Mennonite community to help out uh, do a kind of a splinter clinic from the Guero Clinic. And uh, we are seeing a lot of patients here today, having a lot of fun, and I think making a big difference. You know, it's, it's a wonderful thing to see. It's beautiful to see service above self in action. It's good to see these passionate people serving others and uh, the difference it's making, it's, it's fun. My name's Tony Sortino, and I work in the optical shop and after the doctors uh, give a patient their prescription for glasses, we see if we can find the right match for some donated lenses in here. I came in and I didn't know where I would be able to fit in, where I would be able to help, but I just jumped in and started seeing the patients and they're so nice and wonderful. The people that run the clinic have been amazing. I've had no bad experience at all with this clinic, none. On a normal clinic, we make anywhere from 100 to 150 pairs of glasses. Uh, we made over 100 yesterday alone. The people here, the work that we do, 
helping people see the children. I love the children. That's why I do it. Do you have the other kids train? Yeah. Oh, this one's not bad. You know, there's just so many needy people out here um, that a simple pair of glasses can, you know, really change their lives. It's a really great feeling to be able to, to provide them with vision or to even educate them why they can't see well, because that's something that's very scary for some of these people is to not know why they can't see and to be able to give them that, you know, knowledge is, it's a great thing. I'm really here to just kind of help those people who never ever had like any eye care, just giving that chance to these people who never seen eye doctors and things like that. You see more patients in a week than you do in a whole semester, maybe a year, at, during your clinics at school. You'll see so much pathology here, so many things that you'll never see in the States, and I thought it's been a great learning experience thus far. They are the future of Bosch. They are the people who will continue to give back to the world and to continue to provide free eye care to people in future generations. It's a really strong community. It's really bringing people and helping them identify their needs, their talents, their wants, and giving them opportunities to volunteer in a way that's meaningful for them. This is something that uh, people that don't know anybody come together, we put a clinic together, and in two hours, we had to be working as a full team. deseales que, que tengan un, re, un buen restablecimiento que primeramente Dios que nos ayude It's nice to work as a team and it's very rewarding to see what we're helping the patients with Once it's done they gain substantial improvement in their vision and they're very happy with it and they're very grateful for it and that makes us happy too As you can see it is an impressive clinic and it is a sustainable clinic and this is something that Bosch aspires to. And it's all here volunteering, serving others. That's what we are, service above self through Rotary International and Texas Bosch. This is a team job. We need to serve the people and that happens.